Na ya se gana sika sembe peja no man for e ho adwo ho no ntia. En sami ya gana man pene e be die chi Dr. Muhammad Dubahumia e di tu join na o tre se en sise ye bi aban e di agufo mo no e ya de a e bo ye pa e bo ama e ya o me nso ye timi afa ye ntoma pa e di e fra o tre en se mo se en sise ye bi e te se planting for food and jobs free SHS paperless port system any senior and penny for a set a national health insurance mukina send a bear a bebo amo pomodin and some so etimi a tumpon a ya dear sanchi say you win yanano a boa ama o main sono etimi a genana a pija send a bear and pun to a yashishano yin 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 sa etimi a can set on mine or to us or etchen in same say gana a bind and an abdanko a kufuado edda anono a ya dear a pomodin and who and some a yen ye pa and no anti anna what de a ye a pomodin a hunsem mapa, a river, a year in crassa, any in crotu, a hobro, send your bea one now a yaria, a ya winya won't hunt a breno, on so a benya a year upon my day and hunt a candy, na a boa, a ma almost a seria etimi asse or mafunumma, or the ensem winna etuja, a wabrana and penny for a boja data, no woody a year fit African Health Economic and Policy Association, a wo and cry her. Here in Ghana, we have been focused in our policy framework on the whole issue of inclusive transformation. We want to transform the economy, but it has to be inclusive. This is why the government of Ghana is committed to both a generous national health insurance scheme, which has been in operation since about 2003, and a free senior secondary school program, which we implemented in 2017. We have also embarked on community-based health planning and services program to remove geographical barriers to basic health delivery. And we have earmarked 2.5% of taxes on goods and services to support health financing. We are also innovating the means of healthcare delivery to reduce the cost and to be as efficient as possible. We're trying to rely on technology to help us be more efficient and also to be cost effective. Next month, Ghana would begin the introduction um, of drone technology in the delivery of medical supplies. We are also very focused on the digitization of our health care system and the introduction of electronic medical records to strengthen the health sector, and this will help us as we move more and more towards telemedicine. The government has a policy of one constituency, one ambulance. We have 275 constituencies in Ghana, so we have ordered state-of-the-art ambulances, 275 of them. We will make them available from June this year to supplement healthcare delivery in Ghana. Ghana, as a signatory to the Alma Mater Declaration on Universal Access to Primary Health Care, and as a pace setter on universal health care in Africa, will redouble its efforts to ensure that every citizen is guaranteed effective access to basic health care without the risk of impoverishment at the time of need. Our government is fully committed to the same kinds of objectives that you, NAFIA, have set yourselves. And we will pursue programs and interventions that will push our continent forward to a new era of social progress, improved quality of life, and sustainable development.